Thousands of Michigan's low-wage workers will soon be earning more. Governor Rick Snyder signing legislation tonight to gradually increase the minimum wage to $9.25 per hour by 2018. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jane Park. Thanks for joining us tonight. The state's minimum wage of $7.40 an hour will soon be no more. After lawmakers took all day to reach a compromise, a swift passage comes before a group pushing for $10.10 an hour could turn it in its signatures. NBC 25's Kyle Mitchell spoke with workers and local businesses tonight. He has their reaction to the wage hike and joins us live in the newsroom with our top story. Kyle. Jane, this comes a day before our committee behind the push to raise minimum wage is expected to turn in those signatures. People in mid-Michigan say there are clear positives and negatives to the increase. Of course, your payroll goes up, your payroll taxes. For business owners like Marjorie Murphy, raising the minimum wage isn't an easy issue to address. Most of the people here are paid more than minimum wage, um, but for some small businesses, that can be pretty, um, it can be tough. Murphy says while her restaurant and wine bar, Cork on Saginaw, won't be impacted as much as some other businesses, she isn't surprised by the increase. I believe that people deserve a decent wage, so I'm for it. But at the same time, I think the, uh, the government on the state, federal and city level also need to offer some tax breaks. For some local college students, the reaction is mixed. I, I think that uh, minimum wage sets a, an artificial uh, price floor in the labor market, and the uh, price floor always causes a surplus, and the surplus in the lab labor market is unemployment. I think it's a good idea, especially with the cost of living going up and the expenses going up, and it's been a while since that's happened, although it probably could be a lot higher, I think. Residents say this is a big deal for low-wage workers. I know they're struggling right now, so I know they need this. It'll be a big push for them. And for Murphy, while she says paying people well goes a long way, business owners have to find other ways to take care of their employees. You have to treat people well, and thats I've had most of my employees since the day I opened three years ago, and that's important. The legislation Governor Snyder signed will also allow the minimum wage to grow with inflation once it hits $9.25 an hour. It also increases the wage for workers who receive tips to 38% of the current minimum wage. Live in the newsroom, Kyle Mitchell, NBC 25 News. Jane.